Hey guys, today's video is going to be big glamorous holiday hair tutorial. I've been asked a lot of questions about my hair and to do this tutorial so it is finally here. This video is a collab video with Alexis K. Moore. She does the most amazing makeup tutorials and she has created a beautiful holiday look for you guys to check out. Please subscribe to her channel. You will not be disappointed. She is so amazing and watch her holiday video. I'll have it linked down below. First I go in with my favorite dry shampoo and I just spray this in the roots. This gives my hair a lot of texture and it also helps hold the curls. But not only that, it helps my hair not stick to my head. Then I comb it out and also I just run my fingers through it trying to get the white residue out. If you have blonde hair, you're not going to have as hard as a time as I normally do getting all this white residue out of your hair. But just take your time and run your fingers through your hair. Next, I just part my hair. You can part your hair as desired. And then I comb through to make sure the hair is slicked down to the sides that I want it to be on. Then I section my hair off into three different sections. First, I'm gonna start with my lowest layer. So I'm gonna pin up or brush up this first layer of hair. And this is all my real hair, guys. I get a lot of people asking me um, how long my real hair is, so that's it. Don't forget to put your glove on and then we're gonna go in with this blowout spray. This spray is not a hairspray, it's more of a texturizing spray, so it really helps your hair to hold that curl without leaving it crunchy feeling. Then going in with my favorite wand, this is the New Me Curling Wand, I'll have it linked down below. I begin twisting the hair around the wand. Now I'm not wrapping my hair around the wand, I'm actually twisting it and it kind of leaves it in a spiral. Then I squeeze the heat out of the hair. Now you can either leave it at that and let your hair go or you can pin it up. Pinning the hair up is going to let the heat release out of the hair slower while it's still curled and it's going to let that curl hold on longer. So if you want really super curly hair, I suggest pinning it. If you just want kind of waves in your hair, you can go ahead and let your hair just squeeze the heat out and then let your hair down. So we're basically just going to repeat this process. As you can see, I'm just wrapping the hair on the wand, leaving it on the wand for 10 to 12 seconds, squeezing the heat out and then pinning it. I am not adding hairspray to my hair as I go. It's just not good for your hair and it also messes up your curling wand. So I just sprayed that blow texture spray on my hair before I curled it. Then I'm going on to the second section of my hair as you can see here and basically I do the exact same thing. I just want to throw in there that I am curling my hair away from my face so I'm curling the hair back from my face because that's how you want your curls to land and sit once you're finished. Once I'm completely finished curling my hair, I let it set in the pins normally while I do my makeup. So 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes. The longer you let it set, the longer curls tend to stay. Then this is the extensions parts. These are luxury for princess extensions. These are extremely nice extensions. They are clip-in as you can see here. I have 260 grams of hair and these are 22 inches long. They are super long, super thick extensions. I'm talking this is Lily Gleechy hair, people. If I put in all the extensions that I have, it would be wild so they come in different sizes as you can see the clips one was shorter one was longer and what I like to do is just clamp the hair in a drawer and then curl it this hair curls so fast and it holds curl too as you can see I hold it on there for like five seconds and then I just comb through and brush it out Right now I'm taking my hair out of the pins and as you can see it's just so tightly wound and curled. If you like your hair like this, by all means leave it like this. I just like my hair to be really big. So 
So what I like to do is now section the hair off. I normally section off half of my hair and then I'm gonna add those bigger tracks of extensions. I add in two of my biggest tracks right now. So as you can see, I'm just clipping them in pretty much at the base. You don't really have to tease your hair. These clips hold in so strong that you don't have to do the extra teasing. So here goes my second round of the extensions. And then I just add one more piece after I let down some more hair. So now I'm gonna let down a little bit more hair, raise up the upper part of my hair, and then clip in a smaller section of hair. And honestly, this isn't even all my extensions that came in the one package. It's just all that basically will fit in my head. I'm obsessed with these extensions. You're about to see, oh, I had four. I'm sorry, I added four tracks. Um, but you're about to see like how much hair I have now. Look at that, it's crazy. So now I'm combing through my hair just with my fingers. I don't brush out the curls because if I did that, my hair would be humongous. Like it would be out of control. So I just run my fingers through it just to spread the curls apart. This next part, you'll need a rat tail comb and some boosted spray. We're gonna tease the crown of my scalp here. We're gonna back comb there and then spray that boosted spray. This boosted spray is amazing for teasing hair and does not leave your hair feeling crunchy. So now I flip it back and we're just gonna spread out that tease and we're gonna poof it up with the back end of that rat tail comb there. And uh, we're also gonna go back in and spray a little bit. Look how much volume we have added to the hair. Another thing I like about this boosted spray is it's not heavy on your hair so it doesn't weigh it down. The spray is just like a miracle spray to me. I love it. And then I'm gonna spray some of it throughout my hair. So that is it. This is our big voluminous hair. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and learned lots about my hair. And please subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.